So this is my first attempt at casually making conversation in my vlog. That sounds weird, but I it does kind of feel like a conversation even if it's one-sided. <laughs> you could continue the conversation in the comments section if you want to. So I'm heading out in a little bit to go have dinner with a friend of mine. I met this particular girl on Bumble BFF. I downloaded the app because when I moved out here, it was in the middle of COVID, so I didn't really know how to make friends or how to meet people. I mean, I'm not that great at meeting people in the first place, so even if there wasn't COVID, it would be a little bit difficult. As compared to like being a kid, Making friends is like so much more complicated. Like if you're an indoor person, you might not really mesh well with someone who's an outdoor person. I prefer to stay home and watch Netflix and drink coffee. And someone else might want to go hiking and I'm not really a hiking person. Maybe once in a while. <laughs> Yeah, this wasn't really a story with a point. <laughs> it was my introduction into how different life is outside of grad school. Like friends aren't just there for you to make. You kind of have to like go out and look for them. But yeah, so I actually have been sitting here and blabbing for a while and I'm just gonna go complete getting ready and go to my dinner. <laughs>
another backstory without context, but this one might be better. <laughs> I got this phone in 2018. And back then I bought the phone because I heard that it had a good camera. I got it for my YouTube channel. So all the very early videos on my channel were filmed using this phone exclusively. I have since moved on and I bought a camera that I'm filming on now. But I got to thinking that maybe I wanted to get a new phone. And not necessarily because I needed it, because this still works great. I mean, it's slightly cracked in the corner, but <laughs> either way. I fell into this rabbit hole of phone hunting, basically. You have to compare the aesthetics of the phone, the functionality of the phone, whether I have the budget to buy the phone. <laughs> and just coming like right out of school, there's still a lot of things I feel like I need to justify. That leads me into spending a lot of time researching whether this is this phone that I'm gonna get is worth the money or not. It still kind of hasn't hit me that I am financially stable now and I like <laughs> I have a job. Like, I can get some things because I want them, not necessarily because I need them, but that's besides the point. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know where I heard it, but I heard someone saying something like, you could get a tablet for $700. That's probably not what they said, but it sounded something along those lines. I felt like I could get more functionality out of a tablet. I really love to take notes and I have really dry hands. <laughs> I would prefer not to take notes on paper. It just seemed like a lot more sense that I actually bought a tablet. <laughs> it took me all of two days to make the decision. In a way, I balance, I guess I balance out the conservativeness of needing to justify every big purchase with the impulsiveness of deciding to make a purchase in like 2.5 seconds. <laughs> Summer months are coming I don't know how to take it The memory of a lover Picture frames and bracelets And they say Keep your head up, boy Cause May is like Miranda I could not understand her Her voice is like a riddle leads me to the water and I drown when she kissed my lips Cause every time I think I'm getting over it cycles back around Time I think I'm getting over it cycles back around I'm not done looking for love I'm not done looking for love I'm not done looking for you love Cycles back around 